Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s? We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright guys, we are here today with episode number 38 of the South Alabama Jaguars dynasty that's right here on ncaa 14 today we're here on the road in week number eight climbed up to number six in the country we're five and oh two and all in conference play we're set to travel to maryland to take on the three and two navy midshipmen and we faced them last year in senior day and you know the triple option always poses a little bit of a trouble here when you're trying to defend it so we'll see if we can come out and pick up our sixth win of the year here today, remain undefeated. But hello everyone, welcome to Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium in Annapolis, Maryland, as we are here for some week eight football between the Navy Midshipmen and the number six South Alabama Jaguars. Navy gets the ball to start, and they're going to pitch it here on the first play from scrimmage. There goes Perry down the sideline, Perry going to have that one out to near midfield. Malcolm Perry will pick up 24 to open the game. Later on, a third down in inches. Harrison will keep it himself. Shut off a tackle. And Jacob Harrison to gain a two and a first down. Move those chains for Navy here. Now they'll go back. The pitch out to Perry. Perry taking this one down the sideline. Couple man to beat, and he's going to beat them all into the end zone. And Navy with a quick start to open the scoring here. They... Grab the early 7-0 lead on the Jaguars. But here comes the South Alabama offense for its first drive of the game. That's again a 10 right there for Trey Minner. The senior having himself a nice season to this point. There goes Minner again. He'll pick up 8 on 2nd and 4. It's a South Alabama first down into Navy territory. Got it at the 35. Now 3rd and 5. Will Ron Hausenbauer will make the grab. But he's going to... Fall down shy of the first down marker. And so on fourth and two, they'll go for it. The give goes to Minner. And Trey Minner's got five yards and a fourth down conversion. Move the change for the Jaguar offense. On second and two, Brown back to pass. On loads, fit that one into a really tight window. And it's Kawan Baker for a gain of 16 down to the three. First and goal, the give goes to Minner. Trey Minner rumbling into the end zone. And this baby is going to be knotted up at 7 apiece, pending the extra point with 2.11 to go in the opening quarter. A second and four for Navy on their next drive of the game. Harrison going to pitch it out to Perry. Perry has this one breaking a couple tackles down the sideline, gained a 15 inside the South Alabama 40. And Harrison stood up in the backfield right there. It's a loss of three. That's Taji Stewart, the outside linebacker. On a second and 13, the pitch goes out. To Gargulo, and he's going to pick up enough for the first down. Gain a 15. Uh, first down, Harrison stood up in the backfield for a loss of two, and that would take us to the end of the first quarter. We got a 7 7 ball game through one here in Maryland. Can South Alabama get some momentum going as we begin this second quarter? It's a third and nine for Navy. The pass going to be knocked away and incomplete. Nice defense right there. Sets up a fourth and nine. Navy would go for it. They four drove the field goal try. Throw into the end zone. Knocked away by Stanford Samuels the third. And this South Alabama defense comes up with the turnover on downs. Now Brown rolling out on first down. He throws on those deep. And that's caught by Crosby down to the 45. It's a gain of 33. A big play. As he escaped the pocket and found his tight end wide open into Navy territory. It's a big play to begin the drive here for South Alabama. We'll see if they can capitalize. A third and one now later in the drive. 5.45 to go here first half. They'll give to Minner. Minner shedding off some tackles. Trey Minner's got 13 yards inside the 25. There on it'll be another third and one. They'll give it to Minner once more. And Minner's running hard down to the five. Pick up a gain of eight. Second and goal now for South Alabama from the five. Brown back to pass. Caught in the end zone by Kawan Baker. 
and the reigning Blitnikoff award winner with the touchdown grab. He's having himself a nice uh, standout junior campaign for him, and it's 14 nothing Jaguars here, 342 left in the half, and Harrison stuffed immediately. It's a loss of three later on, a third and nine. Harrison back to pass. That'll be caught by Perry. Malcolm Perry's been all over the place for the midshipmen so far today. And that's a big third down conversion right there on first down. There goes Harrison. Harrison busting open a big one. One man to beat. And he's tripped up just inside the 15. It's a 54-yard scamper for the quarterback. Third and 10. Harrison back to pass. Throw an end zone. It's hauled in by Michael Clark for the touchdown. And Navy has tied this game with a minute 30 left in the first half. We're tied up at 14 now. Brown back to pass. Caught by McCray. Jordan McCray has that one out across the 40. Gain of 14 for the senior. Now on third and 10. Brown back to pass. Throws underneath. Caught by Way. Way slipping a tackle. Bit of a risky throw, but found the freshman wide out anyway. Now on third and 10. Back to pass. Brown on lows. Deep ones and all. It's incomplete look like it was going to be hauled in and they're going to challenge it wanted Kawan Baker deep and that pass is just a bit too much so on fourth and ten they're gonna have to go for it nearly had the big play round back to pass caught by Baker along the sideline Kawan Baker again a 15 and that'll be enough for the first down and so they convert the fourth down, keep the drive alive, and 39 seconds left in the half now. Second and 10, man in motion. Brown drone play action, throws to the end zone. It's caught by Zach Crosby, and the tight end has given the Jaguars the lead here with 35 seconds left in the quarter. And that was a nice, perfectly run play action right there, and it was an easy score for the tight end. Sold the fake well. And Crosby made the catch cut up field. It was an easy six, and the Jaguars take the lead. And so we'll see what kind of answer Navy has up their sleeves here. 23 cents left in the half. The throw is underneath to Perry. Perry's got a big gain, and so look out. There goes Malcolm Perry for a gain of 30. Third and 10 now. Harrison back to pass. Throwing along the sideline. It's caught by Terry Lynch. And that would set up a field goal attempt. And the kick would be through the upright. So it's only a four-point South Alabama lead heading into the locker room. And a second and 12 for the Jaguars as we begin the third quarter. The give goes to Minner. Minner bouncing this one along the sideline. Breaks one tackle in midfield. And he gets another 10 yards inside the 40 of the midshipmen. 15 carries, 105 yards in the score for Minner. Averaging seven yards a pop today. He's having himself a very nice ball game here. Now it's a first down from, call it the 38 of Navy. Brown back to pass. That's caught by McCray. Jordan McCray down near the 20, almost in the red zone. Are the Jaguars once more? And so it's a first down. Brown rolling out. He's going to take off now. He'll keep it himself inside the five. Going to slide on down to the two. And it'll be a third and goal now for South Alabama. 327 left in the third. Brown will keep it himself. Sneak that one into the end zone. And it's a 28-17 South Alabama lead pending the extra point here. Midway through the third quarter now. Second and eight. Harrison going to keep it himself. Harrison has that one out across midfield on a gain of 12. And Navy continuing to move the ball here on offense. They got a third and four. Harrison feeling the pressure. Down he goes. It's a loss of six. Coming free off the blitz was Gus Nave, the cornerback. Sets up a punt. And on third and eight, that pass is airmailed incomplete. And so South Alabama would have to punt it back themselves on second and six now. Harrison will keep it himself. He's going to pitch it, but there's no one there. And it'll be picked up by Tyree Turner. A poor decision there by Harrison leads to the game's first turnover. He wanted to pitch, but there was no pitch man there, and that's an easy turnover for this Jaguar defense. Sets them up in nice field position as we head to the fourth quarter. 28-17, Jaguars on top.
And it'll be a first down from uh, the 39 of the midshipman. Brown unloads. Deep cut by Baker. Kwan Baker spinning down inside the 10. Gain of 33. It'll be first and goal for the Jaguars as they look to make this a three-score ball game. Uh, just a really nicely run route by the junior. Made the nice catch. Got a few extra yards as he fell forward. Just well executed right there for the South Alabama offense. On first and goal, it's Hausenbauer. Will on Hausenbauer open on the slant. And it'll be his first career touchdown grab. The redshirt freshman got wide open. And it's his first career touchdown as it's a 18-point ball game now. And that'll be intercepted, picked up by Kerry Green, the sophomore corner with his second pick of the year. And he just jumped that route. Harrison with turnovers on back-to-back -back possessions, and this game could get away from Navy in a hurry. The defense would do a nice job to force a field goal try. Hawkins would split the uprights, and it's a 21-point ball game with 526 left. Harrison back to pass on third and ten, and that's going to be nearly intercepted. Instead, it's incomplete, sets up a fourth and ten. Navy would elect a punt. And so Brown would take over once more. That pass caught by Wheeler on Hausenbauer in heavy traffic. Gain a 13 for the redshirt freshman wide out. They're on, it's a third and one. Brown will give to Minner. Trey Minner up the middle. And Trey Minner with enough for the first down. Gain a seven. And... So they're moving the chains once more inside the 25. Brown back to pass. Throw an end zone. Caught by Kawan Baker. And they'll mark him just shy. He's down at the one-inch line. 250 left. Brown will keep it himself on the QB sneak. He's into the end zone. It's now 45-17 South Alabama. Third and inches. Harrison stood up in the backfield. Sets up a fourth and two. Bobby Flott there to make the stop. And now they would take over once more. Brown rolling out of the pocket again. And it would set up a fourth and 15. And going to unload deep on the last play from scrimmage. It's caught by Kawan Baker. And he'll fall into the end zone. So the game ends on a touchdown. Brown went 17 of 28. 283 yards. Four touchdowns. Completed 60% of his passes. He's having a nice redshirt freshman campaign. Trey Minner, 24 carries, 138 yards, and a touchdown. Average 5.7 yards a pop. Four for nine and two scores for Brown. So six total touchdowns for the quarterback today. Receiving-wise, Baker had eight for 152, two scores, three for 57, and a touchdown for Crosby. Willeron Hausenbauer, three for 22 and a score. J.K. Way had one for 23. McCray had two for 29. Lumpkin leads with eight tackles. Harrison had two for loss. Nate, uh, Stewart, Henderson, Flott, and Turner each had one. You have a sack from Gus Nave, a pick from Kerry Green, and Lewis Hawkins also had, uh, he made his only field goal try. And so this one ended up in a romp. South Alabama takes down Navy 52-17. to that's going to do it for me. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.